discussion. You've got Jaden Reed, the wide receiver out of Michigan State, listed as a potential pick here for the Browns. Tell us about Jaden Reed. Okay, so before the Senior Bowl, uh, I I had to research Jaden Reed because what I was seeing and what I was reading was two different things. Jaden Reed was a fifth round prospect, and I'm talking about going to a draft site big board and me pulling up the number 99 pick in round three, which is our first first of three uh, uh, two third round picks, and I'm looking at all these players up and down. And Jaden Reed's name is not there on most big boards. Any draft site that you go to, Pro Football Network, a Draft Countdown, um, which is what Brian Bassard's part of and is our good friend, uh, Walter Football, nobody has Jaden Reed around the 99th pick. The reason is, is because he had minimal production. 636 yards, five touchdowns. Whoopee. 11.6 yards per catch. The reason is, is Michigan State ran the ball twice as much as they threw the ball. Their their throwing game was an afterthought. They did what most everybody has done forever since the, the 1890s when American football was born, is you run to set up the pass. Now, teams today will throw to set up the run, but that's what Michigan State did. He does not have the numbers. He does not have any numbers as far as being a receiver. But you need to YouTube this guy in his routes. Nobody covered him. His his moves and his route running was phenomenal. He would come off that line. He would turn his head to the right. He would take one step to the left, and then he'd go right again. And the the safety or the DB is still over here on the left side. That happened over and over and over and over. He would go five yards up. He would start to turn. The DB comes up, and then he'd take off. He's got great speed, exceptional speed. I would not be surprised if he went in the second round. Before he showed at the Senior Bowl, I didn't know anything about him. I didn't. But he is a great kid. When I interviewed him, He'll look you straight in the eye. He's yes, sir, no, sir. He's very polite. He's very articulate. And he told me, I'm a good kid. You're not, gonna good. Have any pro- You're not going to have any problems with me off the field. Nobody has and nobody will. I'm a good kid. I like that. I mean, again, we're, we're all about that no nonsense. Right. We've dealt with enough of that crap over the years. It's- I used to tell my mom that. <laughs> I was like 16, 17. <laughs> Ugh. This this guy is a game changer. He is lightning in a bottle. And uh, uh, another thing, guys, he's also a kickoff and punt returner. I was just going to mm-hmm. ask you about that, Barry. Yep. I, I was thinking, could we utilize him in that, you know, in that role? Yeah, he's he's got a lot of, a, a lot of uh, experience in that. He has returned forty two kickoffs in while he was at uh, Michigan State. Uh, for an average of of 20 yards a kick. And he's returned 38 punts, scored three touchdowns off of punts. He's just electric. I cannot explain without – words just would not do it good unless you look at his routes and see his trickery. And he – and it's it's subtle. It's it's a head bob. It's a – it's an arm twist. It's a shoulder. And and he doesn't do just one – He'll do about three, or he may he might do four, and you're still trying to work on the second one that he did. And by that time, he's come back around, and you're going the up, opposite direction. That happened over and over and over, and nobody, all these all star. This is an all star game. All these all star cornerbacks, all these all star safeties, all of them saw the ball go over their head and, and him make a catch. That may not be a touchdown. But a lot of them were. A lot of them were, were deep passes because he fooled them six yards off the line and left them standing there. If we could get somebody like that, he would eventually take over wide receiver two. He would absolutely take take over that. But we would have three receivers. Look what the Cincinnati Bengals do. Look yep. at what they have on, on the offense. Why can't we do that? 
Yeah, we just don't have the personnel, but you know that's that's what we're gearing up for here. So yeah. this is the, that kind of guy, especially with the the kick returning abilities. I mm-hmm. at this point, who returns kicks for the Browns? We don't. We don't. Know. We don't know. We don't have yeah. anybody. So I mean, if we can solve two problems with one, that would be pretty darn nice. Yes. Yeah. If the Browns drafted Reed, he would take the top off of every defense and become a viable deep threat. I think DP, uh, Donovan People Jones is really the only deep threat we got, and that's just sometimes. Reed also has a great personality, like I said, and he's a team player. His college offense, I think, just didn't have any clue about the menace this kid is, hmm. but we do. Well, it sounds like he would, I mean, especially, you know, we, we've been talking for so long about Deshaun Watson, and, you know, this is a Pro Bowl quarterback. This is an elite level quarterback. He's just not back to right. that level yet, but once he gets there, these kind of receivers just absolutely explode with Deshaun Watson as the quarterback. Yeah, Desha- uh, DeAndre Hopkins was his guy. Yep. You know, and this could be our, our DeAndre Hopkins. You know, uh, Amari Cooper offers a different skill set, but this guy's route running just defines him, and he's going to be a phenomenal player at the next level. Now, you're going to look back and say, wow, they, they took him in the third round. Do you all know what round Tyreek Hill went in? Fourth? Fifth. 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 Huh. Th- think about that. <laughs> right. Yeah, well, and I was thinking that too when you were talking, you know, we're sitting here in the third round, but there are really good players, wide receivers that mm-hmm. we see that, you know, years later we're like, when was that guy drafted? And then, like you said, Cooper Tyreek Hill, you're like, fifth round. Wow, yeah. really? You know? I mean, yep. Terry McLaurin, I think, was a third. Um, Amon Ross yeah. St. Brown, we passed on him a- many times. I yeah. mean, He's a stud. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. If, McLaren, if this, McLaren's a stud. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure, brother. 